Okay, so Noah, the next knots that I wanted to work on will be the, they're, they're actually a termination knot, so if you're doing like a split tail climbing system, that's how you would tie your um, self to a carabiner. They're a cinching knot, so the ones that I want to work on will be the anchor hitch, the double fisherman's bend, and a bunt line hitch. Okay, so a, a little bit what I wanted to say about that is that when you're making a cinching hitch, um, you're supposed to have five diameter widths. That's about how long your tail is supposed to be. So you'll you'll see after I tie it what I mean by tail. So I'll just I'll just mark it out real quick. So I'm gonna mark out five diameter widths. So that's like one, two, three, four. Let me see one, two, three, four, and this will be the fifth one. So this is about how long your tail should be when you're using a rope in this size. So uh, that's almost four, three inches or so. So um, if you had different diameters of rope, it could vary, but you're supposed to have a minimum of five diameter lengths. That's uh, what your tail is supposed to be. So um, the first one I wanted to show you is the anchor hitch. So the anchor hitch, you, you throw your rope in the carabiner and you do a complete wrap and then you go around the long part of the rope and go between the carabiner and then you'll bring out that width so you know for me it'll be about hands width and you'll cinch it up and there you go the anchor hitch let me uh, hook it so you can see both sides of it so this would be connected to your your uh, your uh, saddle. That's one side, and this is what it looks like on the other. So this is enough. Um, it's a cinching line, so it really doesn't run on you. The more weight you put on it, the harder it cinches, and it stays uh, doesn't move on you. So that's the anchor hitch. So the next one I want to show you is a double fisherman's knot. Fisherman's bend. Now with this one, same kind of thing, you'll use the same length. What you do is you you gotta make a bite over your carabiner and then you go up on the line, you take a wrap and you work your way downward. You'll do one, two more complete wraps and once you do that then you'll feed the bottom through both. You get your, your tail length, you know that's a lot, you don't really have to have that much but, okay, and then what you do is cinch this to your carabiner, so that's what would be connected to you, take it off so you, you can have a look. It's a nice knot because the tail goes right up, it's kind of out of the way, and it does cinch on your carabiner so it doesn't slide around. That's what it looks like. Alrighty. So the next one I want to work on is a bunt line. Now the bunt line is good. You can do it on carabiners. But what, what it is also good for is say like a clip. Because it only has one um, piece of rope that goes through here. The anchor has two so sometimes it's kind of hard to put two pieces of rope through some of these clips. So what Oh, I'm sorry, to, to undo the, the fisherman's knot, all you have to do is kind of pull in it, it pops. So back to the bunt line. So what you do is you'll put your line through, right? And then you'll take a wrap, you go one, two, what you're actually creating is a a a, um, a clove hitch around a piece of the rope. So, so this, see how I tied that? That looks like a clove hitch. You got a piece that goes this way and one that goes this way. But to finish it off, you have to cinch it down. You have to cinch it down. It's correct when the tail end is closer to you know the item that you're gonna tie to say like a carabiner or a snap 
Um, this is really kind of a long tail. You don't really need that long of a tail. Um, to see that it's correct, you move it out. And then you pull this. And what you can see is, you can see the clove hitch in, in it. Okay, now if, if it's too hard for you to tie it close to this, you can also do it another way where it's a little simpler. You put your, your rope through your clip and then you just go up your line and then just make a clove hitch. So, but you just want to make sure that clove hitch, uh, the, the tail end is going downward toward the clip. So then you pull it tight. Oops. up there, yeah. Yeah, there it is. Sorry. You pull that tight. So now you got your clove. And now you snug it down. And that's your... That's your button on the Okie doke. Cool. Alright, now let's see what you got. Alright. So, I can go like this right here. Mm -hmm. Do a more complete wrap. back inside through. and then push it up to the carabiner you want to capture it on the carabiner give yourself three about right huh? yeah looks good make it snug that's about... <laughs> yeah. yeah that's close that's about right there you go there you are and so there and then now with that it's not gonna run on you yeah it won't slide all right, good job. So then you're gonna move on to the double fisherman's knot. Double fisherman's knot. Okay. So you do the same kind of thing. You'll just make a bite over the carabiner. Take like this. Yeah, and then you'll go back up onto the rope. Like that. Up. And then you're gonna bring it, bring it kind of tight. And no, no. You'll only wrap it around both. Oh, both. And wrap downward twice. One, two, and then on the third one, no, no, all the way to, the, all the way around. All the way around. And then bring it straight up through. Now straight up through. Now make your tail long enough. Make your tail long enough. Now pull it tight, snug it. Yeah. Now what you can do is now you could snag. Make it tight against that rope right here. Make this tight. Hold this and hold that one. Pull it. Okay. Now snug it up against your carabiner. There you go. So I just try to make this a little bit shorter. Yeah. Or you know you can even. It doesn't have to be three inches. Yeah. More than three is good. Um, no less right it's not it should never run on you let me see what you got here it should never run on you once your weight goes on this it's going to hold it in place your carabiner won't move around watch okay so what happens is now your carabiner will stay in place and it's it's not going to run on you and this is supposed to be hooked to my waist yeah that'll be connected to your belt okay and so then you'd have another one so go ahead and unconnect this and then take the the double fisherman's knot off and then just untie. All you have to do is, um, I'll just, yeah, pull it. There you go. Untie. It's pretty quick and easy, huh? Yeah. Okay, so now the carabiner, so the anchor hitch is really good with the carabiner, but say the bunt line hitch, I, I'd say the bunt line for something like this because um, it's, a lot of these have small holes. This is actually a pretty good size hole, but if you were going to do a clip, you know, the double fisherman would be good in this. The thing is, it's once it's cinched up, it's hard to take off. Yeah, because it's smaller. Right. The good thing about the bunt line hitch, so yeah, you put all your pressure, all you have to do is pull that piece up and then untie it. Yeah. So that's kind of what the bunt line's good for. So it's more controlled. Well, yeah, it's a little easier to get off of a complete ring. Yeah. Okay? Okay. So, uh, so. want to give that a whirl? Yes. Yeah. All right, let's see that bunt line hitch, Noah. Yeah, I think you went the opposite direction. Let's go around that. Yeah. Around this way. Yes, sir. There you go. Around once. And then one more. Right there. Super Perfect. Good. Okay. Don't lose track of it. Cool. 
thing. Let's see that. Make sure that that, that, yeah, that piece has to be stuck together and then you're going to push it onto the, right onto that. There you go. So it'll be like this. Okay. So now you know that's correct. Let go. Okay, it's not going to go anywhere. Okay, now to double check that it's correct, you could pull this out and look at where that clove hitch is. See how the tail, you've got the cross, you got a piece of rope that goes this way, one goes this way. This tail end has to be up against the, the ring or carabiner or whatever you're using. Now if this tail is on the above part, this knot won't work, it'll slip on you, it'll fall out. So it is important to have the tail end closer to the either the clip or the carabiner and it will it does almost look like a, a clove hitch if you if you kind of open it up a little bit you could see that this is actually a clove hitch connected to the long part but when you cinch it that is the bunt line hitch cool really good for a ring like this and and um, I mean you could use it on a carabiner a anyway it works pretty good all right good job so just to recap of what we were working on today um, we worked on the anchor hitch so the anchor hitch and all the hitches today are just uh, termination knots knots that you'll use on a split tail system um, you'll use them on a dead end um, they're all cinching knots that means that they get they cinch and they stay put and they hold your carabiner so once it's um, tight it doesn't roll on you um, the first one we worked on was an anchor hitch and that's what that looks like the next one we did was a double fisherman's knot or fisherman's bend same thing it's a, a cinching hitch and then the third one we worked on was the bunt line hitch and yeah like I said they are all cinching knots and they're all for termination ends um, the next thing that we're gonna work on is we're gonna look at some of the required equipment for tree care so um, ropes and saddles um, basically the stuff that you'd wear on in your PPE. Alright, see you next time.